So a few years ago, I was living with a band and they were had already put out a record and they were playing a lot of shows around town and they were ready to start touring. They didn't want to just continue playing only Portland shows. They were ready to branch out. They wanted to get to the big cities, San Francisco, LA, Vegas, etc. So uh, we were just all sitting there kind of twiddling our thumbs like, how do you do this? How do you book a tour? Can you pay somebody to book a tour? How does all of this work? Well, it turns out that, uh, you know, you can pay somebody to book a tour, but they kind of have to choose you. So what we decided we were going to uh, put together a plan and figure it out. So, uh, so having just got through the process a few times, there are some things that I come up with that are just going to save a lot of headaches. Like, um, for instance, the biggest thing that I think drove booking the tour crazy is there's a lot of information about a lot of different shows all coming in at once, and you can't keep track of all of the things about all of the shows, and you can't ask your bandmates every single time, uh, do we have bands on this show? What day is this show on? Uh, do you know if it's a Friday? Things like this uh, will absolutely just start to become just a little bit too much. So I found that it's important to just have one central spreadsheet. You keep track of all of the information that you're going to need to keep track of, and then... Um, we're going to keep a group text with all band members plus myself and anybody else who's going to be involved in the tour. So far, it's just us four. Um, where when we have updates that occur, you know, we'll drop those right into the group text. Hey, I got a hold in this date, in this venue, in this city. I've added it to the spreadsheet. Okay, fine. Now people know it's there. So in this series, I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, some things to consider how you plan your tour. I'm going to show you how to book a venue. I'm going to show you how to solicit other bands to play with you. I'm going to share with you some ideas on how to promote your show and how to promote your band while you are on your tour. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, our official band meeting that we had for Conversating with Jason episode two. I'm going to put that out here in the next few days, maybe even before this comes out. I haven't decided what order these come out in yet. Um, and I just want to add that while I'm doing this for a band, almost everything that I'm going to be sharing here with you could be slightly adjusted to fit any talent that wants to tour. If you can get a live audience, whether you're a comedian, a lecturer, a musician, um, a ventriloquist, or any other kind of traveling talent or show, these ideas will apply to you and um, pretty much all the etiquette will be very similar. You know, you'll have to adjust. Uh, there'll be a, a personal touch to all of this, but uh, I just want to let you know that th this is going to work for everybody. Uh, again, I'm not an expert. I have I have no background in this other than what I've done myself, my DIY strategies, and that's what I'm going to share here on my channel is uh, my true knowledge from experience. So I look forward to making the first episode up here after this, which will be uh, all about the spreadsheet, and then I will show you what parts we're already filling in for our tour. Uh, good talk. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Let's get booking these tours.